If you find yourself taking a walk this fall and see a fuzzy critter there on the ground, you may be looking at a woolly bear caterpillar. And this caterpillar has a reputation for convincing folks it can predict the severity of the upcoming winter. CBS 13 meteorologist Emily Sandum is live in studio tonight debunking the centuries old folklore around this. Emily. This old folklore goes back to the colonial times and still has folks wondering if it's true. There are three parts of the woolly worm myth, so let's break these down together. The first version says if the head of the caterpillar is dark, the beginning of winter will be harsh and severe. However, the end of the winter will be cold if the caterpillar's tail is darker. And the longer the middle brown band is, the milder the winter will be. Unfortunately, none of these are true as these furry critters cannot predict how harsh the winter will be. They can, however, reflect the current or past season, and if the growing season is great, they will grow larger. The width of their middle band represents their diet and their species. This folklore is very popular in the United States, so much so that there are even festivals centered around them. The popular, popular Woolly Worm Festival goes on every year in North Carolina, where the caterpillars race one another in hopes of winning up to $1,000 for their trainers, of course. In the studio, I'm CBS 13 meteorologist Emily Santum. Now, Charlie, let's send it over to you for the look at the full forecast.